place because he's very intense, Liam, at the moment. Mm. You know, he's like, and he's only 28, so he's like, he said, uh, he said, just lighten up a bit. You know. Have, have, you, have either of you guys ever brushed the hair back and gone with the Elvis quiff? And there was a picture of me in the paper the other day with sunbathing in the beach. Oh, you look terrible in that. You had like a centre parting or I know, something. I know. <laughs> What was well, well the thing there? is that, you know, it's like, I mean, well, I've got, I've got a long fringe and I didn't want to come out with a white forehead, you know what I mean? So, um, so, I, so you know, just, just like a normal bloke on holiday, just like, the, you know, the Brit abroad, I, I, br I brushed it to the side and I, look, I looked up on the top of this mountain and there's this paparazzi guy waving and I thought... You did really look like, you did look like a guy on holiday, that's I it, know. you look like a dad know, but the on holiday. The thing is, they, they wrote in the sun that, that they made out like, that, we've, that we've built this villa in the middle of like the M6, where like all these fans <laughs> line up and just wave us all day, and it's like, I mean, it's like, it's in the middle of nowhere, but like, obviously the paparazzi found out where it is, but they're saying, uh, you know, we've built it by lay-by. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because, like, you know, there's like but a, they like seeing there's like, there's like one of them portable hot dog <laughs> but they, <solid laughs> vendors they, there. They well. seem to want to sort of categorise you as a kind of guy with no taste, don't they? They seem to want to. <laughs> that's what they say. I think it's because you come from you know fairly humble roots and, yeah. and, and a part of Manchester which isn't an affluent part of Manchester. Even mm -hmm. they seem to want to think that you you haven't changed or or, or developed any taste. Or yeah, well, you know, I mean, there's a lot of it's a, it's, it's a sad thing in a way that the majority of the people in in England will. They'll have a perception of it by what they read in, in the newspapers. They're not obviously you know you can't go around to everybody's house and shake hands with everyone and say, look, actually you know we're not that bad. But you know that's just something you've got to live with. But you know I think uh, the, the huge fan base you have, people aren't that bothered by what they read in the papers. Before we go, and let's 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 end this 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 hour on an Oasis track. Let's, what's your favourite Oasis track? The track that you recorded that you're proudest of? Uh, oh, there must it would be have one. to be Live Forever. I suppose. Live Forever. That's a great track. Hang on, you got it there? Yeah. It's on the album that um, Noel's going to sign. Don't sign it. I will sign it. Also, I've just noticed, is that the one you no, want to sign? No, I actually want to sign it. Can you just pass it over here? Yeah. I've just noticed he didn't even <laughs> buy the album. Oh, These are the ones that have come to him from pluggers. <laughs> and it's still, and you haven't even peeled the stickers off the back. What does it say on the back, man? Because it'll be uh... It said, not for radio use. <laughs> <laughs> this will not, this won't sell. This band are big, this album is great, this tour is sold out. Recommended tracks, Maybe. all of them. <laughs> It's Nirvana there. It's one for all the Bing Crosby fans to sing that. We couldn't, <laughs> yeah. we couldn't find any Bing. We dug an old Nirvana track out for you. <laughs> <laughs> they were a great band, weren't they? Yeah, I, I never actually got to see them, and I wish I, I, I wish I had. I wish I'd met Kurt Cobain. I had him on a show of mine once at one stage, and uh, they, they performed a different track to the one they meant to do. And on the way out, in a kind of active rock and roll defiance, one of them kicked the skirting board, <laughs> which was. I mean, it was. I appreciated the spirit in which it was intended of rock and roll and wild anarchy, but it was a tiny scuff on the skirt. Of and I think I saw them perform uh, live on an MTV thing once, where the uh, I think it was the bass player threw his bass guitar up in the air at the end. Oh yeah, and it hit him in the head. Yeah, he missed it when he yeah, came down. Did you see that? I think it was at an MTV Awards, and I think Elton John went off, went on straight after him, and Elton John picked up his, his piano stool on the way off and threw it on the floor. <laughs> which I thought was a laugh. In a I, hissy thought, fit. I, you know, I, I thought that was actually better, man. Actually, you remind me of Elton a bit. <laughs> How's that? It's the colourful clothes wear on stage, the, the colourful stage wear and the, and the glasses. <laughs> no, you don't remember talking about. I'm talking. It's the Donald Duck suit I wear around our house. Is that <laughs> <laughs> but have you ever been tempted to do that kind of uh, to go that route? Well, I suppose if I go bald and I go crap, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably as well, yeah. Hey, come on, Elton. <laughs> no, yeah, no, actually, he's a geezer, Elton. He's, um, he's written some fantastic songs, of course. Well, well, good by Yellow Brick Road. And I'm are rock, you um, Rocket Man? It's tune. What do you do? Uh, do, do? Are you still writing over to you now? Are you writing songs all actually, the time? Or? Um, I actually was getting a bit worried because I haven't written a song for about 18 months, but um, the night before last, I wrote a song. And, so, uh, and it was, yeah, it's pretty good. And can you tell when you've written a song that it's going to be uh, well received, that you know it's a popular well, one? Or? Um, there's, there's some songs that you have to work out and you... The ones that you have to sort of spend a lot of time on, the ones that probably end up as album tracks, but the ones that make the the airs on the back of your next, you know, stand up on your neck while you're writing it, and they take a, literally about half a day to finish off. They're the ones that you know are going to be singles. And are they the ones where you've nicked the guitar? I came out this morning unwittingly, right, without putting aftershave on. Oh no! Hence, I'm not as fragrant and desirable as I normally would be. And I get the feeling for you that you forgot not only from where I'm sitting, not only uh, aftershave, but also deodorant today. Why? I'm not smelling. And I wonder whether we could say.